hi everyone compliments of the season you are welcome to my channel let's all solve for the value of x trust me you cannot get this season the knowledge of algebra using the first method i want to use okay now first let's transfer this minus 6x to this side now we have x to the power of x is equal to 6x sorry this is x is equal to 6x all right now let's divide both sides of this equation by x to the power of x so we have x to the power of x divided by x to the power of x is equal to 6x divided by x to the power of x. All right. Now this we divide itself. We have 1 is equal to 6x divided by x to the power of x. Now I want us to multiply both sides of this equation by 1 over 6 because I want to eliminate this 6. Yes. So that I have these values of x together. All right. So we now have 1 multiplied by 1 over 6 is equal to 6x divided by 8 to the power of x multiplied by 1 over x. So we have this is going to be 1 over 6 is equal to, sorry, multiplied by 1 over 6. So this we cancel this, we have x over 8 to the power of x. All right. Now note that 1 over x is equal to x to the power of minus 1. All right. Therefore, we can write this as 1 over 6 is equal to x multiplied by 1 over 8 to the power of x. Right? Yeah. So, we can say 1 over 6 is equal to x multiplied by 8 to the power of minus x. Right? Yes. Permit me to transfer this to this side. Why this goes to the other side? So, this implies that this is x multiplied by x to the power of minus x is equal to 1 over 6. Now, let's multiply both sides of this equation by minus 1. You are still going to see why because I will explain, alright? So, if we multiply through by minus 1, we are going to have minus x multiplied by x to the power of minus x is equal to minus 1 multiplied by 1 over 6. If this is the first time you have seen this amazing channel, please click on the subscription button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. We upload our videos daily, yes. So please tune in at your confidence to watch for new uploads. And we have a new channel, V. We have a new channel, everyone. Yes, the new channel is JJ Mass Class. So tune in there as well, JJ Mass Class, to watch more videos. Now give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. So this is what we have now, minus x multiplied by 8 to the power of minus x is equal to minus 1 over 6. Now, at this point, recall that when you have e to the power of ln x, that this is equal to x, right? So that means e to the power of ln 8 is also equal to 8. So I'm going to replace this 8 with e to the power of ln 8. But before that, let me show you why I'm doing all these things. Recall the Lambda W function, yes. The number of your function, you say that when you apply this function to a term in this form, okay, that this will give you what a. So all this, what I'm trying to do is to get something in this form, whereby my the power of my e will also be equal to the or what is multiplying my e, all right? So that is why I need to introduce this e. And that is why I did e to the power of ln 8 to get 8 as well. So I'm going to replace this 8 with e to the power of ln 8. So I have minus x e to the power of ln 8 multiplied by what? Minus x. Okay. Sorry. Raised to the power of minus 8. Everything is raised to the power of minus x. Is equal to minus 1 over 6. So if you look at this, we have minus x e to the power of minus x multiplied by ln 8 will give us minus x ln 8 is equal to 1 over 6 minus all right now recall that from what i told you using the lambda w function to apply that our power should be the same thing with what is multiplying our e right so the difference between this and this is ln 8 so in order to get ln 8 here i'm going to multiply through by ln 8 okay so i'm going to have minus x multiplied by ln 8 then I have e to the power of minus x ln 8, okay? All right, is equal to ln 8. You also multiply this side to give us ln 8 multiplied by minus 1 over 6, all right? So we have, this is equal to, for this side, let me continue with this. I don't know if you can see this, so let me repeat what I wrote here. What I wrote here is minus x ln 8 
e to the power of minus x ln 8 is equal to now this will be minus 1 over 6 multiplied by ln 8 remember that i mu i multiplied through by ln 8 now notice that what we have here is also what we have as the power so this is in order already so i need to put this side in order as well okay so this is equal to minus 1 over 6 same thing as minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 3 right then multiply by ln 8 now when you have a ln b this is equal to ln b to the power of a okay using the power of using the power rule therefore we can now write that permit me my duster i really need to change it but i used to forget all right so that means that this can be written as ha minus half multiplied by ln 8 to the power of 1 over 3 all right so this is minus 1 over 2 ln now 8 to the power of 1 over 3 same thing as cube root of 8 raised to the power of this one so we have this equal to minus 1 over 2 ln 2 as well because cube root of 8 will give us 2 all right so this is equal to half multiplied by minus 1 right then multiplied by ln 2 now minus 1 can also go up to give us half ln 2 to the power of minus 1 okay now recall that a to the power of minus 1 is equal to 1 over a all right yes a to the power of minus 1 is also equal to 1 over a so that means that this sentence has half ln 1 over 2 so this is what we have at this point permit me to clean this side of the board now i hope you are enjoying this video because i am at the end of this video we are going to prove that what we got is actually right so this is where we are so i'm going to repeat this in order to carry it over so minus x ln 8 to the power of e to the power of minus x ln 8 is equal to half ln half now we are going to introduce e here remember that the lambda w function for you to introduce that you need e right so i'm going to introduce e so remember that e to the power of ln half is also equal to half yes so we have ln half okay so this is equal to ln half e to the power of ln half so we have the same thing here and here so this is the proper time to introduce our lambda w function yes now let me bring this down minus x ln 8 e to the power of minus x ln 8 now if we introduce the lambda w function we are going to have this of minus x ln 8 e to the power of minus x ln 8 is equal to this the lambda w function of ln okay now we are re i will rearrange this yeah i've already done that sorry so ln half e to the power of ln half all right so if i apply the lambda w function i'm going to get this that is minus x ln 8 is equal to if i apply this i'm going to have ln half okay recall that when you have the lambda w function of a e to the power of a that it is equal to a now in this case our a is minus x ln 8 for this sign and here our a is ln half so that is why i have minus x ln 8 is equal to ln half all right now let us continue so if we keep solving we are going to have that 8 can be written as what ln 2 to the power of 3 okay is equal to ln now half is 2 to the power of minus so i'm trying to put them in the same base now this 3 will come to multiply this right so we have minus 3x ln 2 is equal to this we come to multiply minus 1 ln 2 as well now we have ln 2 ln 2 let's divide both sides by ln 2 since we are looking for x so divided by ln 2 divided by ln 2 now we have that our answer is almost there though there is another value of x yes which i would like you to get for me in the comment section there is another value of x which is 2 over 3 so i would like you to use your own method and get that particular value for me because i'm going to get only but one value here now when you have this this we can see itself so we have minus 3x 
is equal to this we can see this we have minus one okay so to get the value of x we're going to divide both sides of this equation by minus three so we have divided by minus three divided by minus three now minus three we cancel minus three we have x is equal to this we cancel this and we have one over three now this is one of the values of x one the other one is two over three i would like you to get that for me in the comment section now let's verify okay let's verify so if we verify the equation says a to the power of x minus c x is equal to zero and that x is one over three so we are going to have x to the power of one over three minus six brackets one over three is equal to zero now x to the power of one over three same thing as cube root right cube root of eight everything raised to the power of this one which will still give us the same thing Minus this, we divide this to give us 2, right? Is equal to 0. Now, cube root of 8 is 2. So, 2 minus 2 is 0. So, we have 0 is equal to 0. So, you can see that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, which proves that the question, the solution is right. Thank you so much for watching. Please tune in next time.